So I just finished building and assembling this chair um, and I've been getting it ready for finish. But when I was assembling it, um, what happened was right over here in this area where the arm uh, is glued to the doubler, uh, a little crack opened up. Now I don't know why the crack appeared. Maybe I didn't get quite enough glue underneath uh, between, the, between the two pieces. Maybe the clamping pressure wasn't right in that area. Uh, but nonetheless, I want to fix that before I go ahead and paint this chair. So I want to show you a little tip because this crack is really, really little um, and it's going to be very tough to get glue in there. So I want to show you a little tip today on how to get glue into tiny little cracks like this that we can then go ahead and clamp up and repair. So you can see here the area that needs to be repaired. Um, and it actually looks a, ho a whole lot worse on the, the close-up lens of the camera than it really is. Um, if I take a feeler gauge, um, you know, I have an old set of feeler gauges here and I put it in there, you know, that I can just barely get a 0.3 millimeter feeler gauge in there. So um, it's not a huge crack, but, um, but you can see how it just separated a little bit. And I want to be able to clamp that up to, to fix that. Um, so it's going to be tough to get glue in there. Uh, and it's really going to make kind of a mess. So the first thing I want to do is to go ahead and tape off all the areas around here so I don't get glue uh, on all this nice finished work. It'll save me a lot of work later having to scrape and sand all that excess glue off. All right, now remember that feeler gauge I was showing you before, that's my little trick here. So I determined that a, a 0.1 millimeter feeler gauge will slide back pretty far and really get in there. So I'm actually gonna use the feeler gauge to get some glue spread underneath there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue out here and because the tape's there, I don't really have to worry too much about getting the glue on everything else and I'm going to use this feeler gauge to just kind of spread that glue back into this joint. Spread it around, push it in there. So after clamping, a little uh, cleanup with a scraper and a chisel, some 220 grit, that crack is all closed and she's ready for paint. <laughs> 